we had um, three barber shops. Um, there must have been about seven grocery stores, counting all of them. Uh, two um, dry goods stores, I guess you could say. The Niagara Home Bakery was our favorite spot to go because you could get Long John's two for a nickel. And everybody just was crazy about the Long John's. They were famous for that. And um, we had the Brock Theater, which every Saturday afternoon they have a matinee, so every kid in Niagara would be at the movies on Saturday afternoon. And then when you got to be teenagers, we'd go Saturday night and sit in the balcony. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, oh, the storekeepers knew you all and, and knew all the kids and um, things. And so it was kind of exciting because back in those days when the kids went to school and that, you got a list of your books, right? And so everybody, everybody would head for Main Street and you'd go to the Five and Dime to get certain books and then you'd run over to Mr. Conley's because he was on the corner store and he'd maybe have a few few different ones so that was kind of exciting but I think the most exciting thing was for me was the firemen had these fabulous New Year's Eve balls at the town hall right and I remember my mother was a seamstress and so she made the most gorgeous gowns for different ladies and people in town right and I remember seeing my older sisters go off right and I was fascinated waiting for the day when I'd be old enough to be able to go my mother used to always say when you're 18 Somebody asked you, you'll be able to go. Well, sure enough, <laughs> along came William, and I went, and I was thrilled because they were fascinating. They had a, a receiving line, and the guys would be all in their dress uniforms with the white gloves, and you'd go down. Like, it was really the highlight of the season for anybody, I think, living in Niagara, right? And yeah, then, of course, well, he, yeah. he turned out to be a fireman anyways, too. So that, like, huh? so that was kind of exciting. And then we always had the old-fashioned dances there when we were kids and, and growing up. They, and those pot-bellied stoves, believe me, they would get hot and red like my sweater I'm wearing, right? And it was so fascinating because there was this, it was this one old-time dancing back in those days, like we didn't do the stroll or the drive, it was, you know, polka and those kind of, and waltz, I loved the waltz. But anyway, so I met this, this one lady, um, she was called Ma Finn, thing, and it was fascinating, and then years later we were at this house party with some golf buddies of Bill's, and she was there, and I was so fascinated, because I remember dancing to her when I was like a teenager, right? And of course, I never ever thought I'd meet her in person, sort of thing, but she was married to one of the golf guys that Bill played golf with. So, yeah, there's a little story for all these different things. But yeah, those, that, that's, those stoves would get so hot and red, right? And you'd be sweating if you got too close to them. But that's the only way they heated things. I mean, even back in our day, we had the, the pot-bellied stoves and everything. Very few of our houses had furnaces until later on, right? No, yeah, well, it was the only heat up there anyway. Well, it was the only heat for two, the... Two in the, the main hall up there, two, one in each corner. Of the... And one in the little hall across the way. So even the town hall has done a lot of changes since we grew, we grew up. But, but there was always something going on for things like that. Like you'd have these traveling minstrel shows, which were fascinating, like, you know, so, yeah, and we got to know a few of them later on in life too, which was kind of exciting, because I remember sitting there as a teenager and thinking, oh, that's fascinating. Because I thought, I was always kind of theatrical, kind of. And I thought, if Shaw had come years ago when I was younger, I'm quite sure I might have been an actress. Because <laughs> I really love to do those kind of things. But yeah, yeah, so yeah, so the main street was, and there was a pool hall for the guys, right? You know? And the Niagara Advance, which was fascinating because there was this Joe Masters, and he used to write these articles of all the things happening in town. And I was so excited, and years later, um, this girl was doing a paper for her um, university and that, and she interviewed my father and I talking about Niagara, right? And it was so fascinating that I started writing down all my memoirs, and so I called it Niagara Not For Sale. <laughs>